Great. So we're ready for the base case. Uh, let's see what we're actually going to be able to get out of this process. To run the model, um, I've got multiple models lined up here in my uh, my project list. So I need to make sure that I'm running the right one. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run that little green arrow thing and uh, just make sure that it doesn't come up with any errors. Uh, so none were reported. Now, in this base case, uh, just to to you know, have a look through my parameters, I've got an anesthesiologist in each in each pool. I've got a surgeon in each pool. I've got two ORs in each pool. I've got two uh, registrars in the pool that serves both tracks, uh, track A and track B. Um, I've also got two people in the O in the EVS pool who are going to clean uh, track A and track B ORs. And I've got you know the various uh, time settings here. Um, so 90 minute in arrival time for track A, same for B, uh, with a five minute registration mean, two minutes standard deviation. Sedation takes 25 minutes with a 7.07 .07 minute standard deviation and a surgery of a surgery time of 100.71 minutes with a standard deviation of 8.09 minutes. Those details are you know all from the base case. And so um, we're running here, and I want to just talk you through. Um, you know, what is happening in the simulation. You can see that the first patient was generated here in track A, went through the registration. This is the number of people entering um, the registration process. This is the number of completing so that first patient seized an OR uh, and then went on to seize an anesthesiologist and went through sedation and is, is currently in surgery. Now, you can see this is the, uh, this is the utilization of the anesthesiologist in track A. So initially the person was unutilized and as they start working, uh, so there was a little bit of a wait here, that little gap down the bottom here, uh, and that would be while registration is occurring. All right, they, they're just waiting. And then they start to increase utilization because now as a fraction of the total time that the surgery center has been running, they've been working most of that and it's creeping up toward one. You can see that uh, after sedation, there's a gap here, and that was the gap for sedation, for registration and sedation. And then uh, the surgeon started working and, and their um, utilization started increasing. Now you can see there's a little drop off here. That was the end of the first surgery. And then that surgeon is now waiting for the next sedation to, to start. The anesthesiologist finished the first surgery, um, got back and started the sedation of the second patient. And at some point here, we're gonna see the second surgery start. And you'll see that the utilization of this of the surgeon is going to start to increase again. So let's wait for it. And there it is. You can see there's a little turn, and um, that is where the second surgery started. Let's see what happened to the uh, first OR suite. Now there's two rooms here. So initially um, the room wasn't being used for this and you know during the registration and sedation and then the surgery started and then uh at that point two ors were being used uh there was um or rather one or was being used but uh actually there was there was a point where um well the first or uh yeah so the the or was being used for the surgery it freed up, the other OR started to be used for sedation. And that's why you have a drop here during the sedation and then the second surgery starts. Okay, so the OR is, is not being used um, during the sedation. They're being sedated outside of the OR. And then let's have a look at uh, you know our completion times here. So it's a little difficult to navigate this, but um, uh, just seeing if I can somehow slide this across. Maybe I need a full screen. It's, yeah, I think that's going to be the. There it is. So you've got the completion time, and uh, it was 115 minutes for the first patient. Uh, they faced an empty system, so they, there was nothing impeding them. Uh, the patient in track B, because there's variability in these BMIs, um, and because there's a relatively large standard deviation there's going to be variation in these processing times. And that's one of the things that you're confronting with in any 
uh, business process. So where are we now? Uh, you can see that the anesthesiolo anesthesiologist, it looks like it's a step function. That's just um, what the simulation is doing. It's essentially very close to 100% now, and it's just struggling to present that, uh, you know, these are, these are all 0.99. So this is, you know, second and third and fourth decimal place uh, closeness to, to one. Um, we're in a sedation period now, and then the next surgery, whether it's the second or third, maybe the fourth, is going to start soon. So I also want to just look over some of these other, uh, some of the other information available to you. You can see that four people have entered or arrived, four have been registered, four have been gotten their OR. This one here is in is in busy seizing an anesthesiologist, can't quite get it yet. Um, three have been sedated. And uh, the third patient is in is in surgery. So once that third patient is done, the sedation of the fourth patient will begin, and so forth. And um, you can see that in fact, uh, two people have completed their surgeries. And here are the processing times. So the mean is 138, but you can see the first one is like 117 or so. The second one is about 100 and maybe 62. So uh, the time is significantly higher. Uh, for the second patient, and that is a concern. And you can see the same is true here. First one was 125 or something, and here we had 100 and maybe 85. You can see what the utilizations of these um, of these pools are. You can see them either here, uh, also also color coded, uh, so you can see where the pain is. And clearly, the anesthesiologists are the ones that are doing the heavy lift here. They're at about 95, 96 percent utilization. The surgeons are at about 60 percent. The ORs are at about 60%. Um, the utilization of the cleaning pool is very low, um, 6%, and the registrar at 6%. So as far as bottlenecks are concerned, in the best case, it looks uh, to be the situation that these folks here are where the pain is. Okay, so I'm going to um, now look to see how I can wrap this thing up for you. Um, we want to simulate out to 5 p.m. We start at 7.30, it wraps at 5. Uh, that's nine, nine and a half hours. So nine and a half hours, nine, nine hours would be nine times 65, 40, and then you add the extra half hour. So I'm looking at a 570 minute day. We're currently at 380 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna put it in at 570, make sure it's in red, and then just run this to completion to see how many we get. And in the base case, in this run, and we'll run one more, I got four completions. And let's see where the fifth and the sixth patient are. See, the sixth patient did enter the system here and is waiting for to get an anesthesiologist. The, the fifth patient is waiting to be sedated. So, uh, sorry, the fifth patient is in sedation. And four patients cl uh, cleared the entire process. You can see four made it all the way through. Uh, here, um, The fourth patient did uh, complete the surgery here. And uh, that OR of the fourth patient is not yet done. All right, it's the cleaning has started, but it's not done at 5.30 PM. But, um, you know, that would be just a small consideration if you pay a little overtime and get that cleaned. But the concern here is that the fifth and sixth patient are not um, getting their surgeries and would be bumped to the next day. You can see that I did have six arrive. The sixth one is waiting for an OR. Uh, the fifth one is waiting to be sedated. And uh, the fourth one did you know, get completed here. So also notice that some of these times are getting pretty high. This one here is out to maybe uh, 275. This one is at 300. So remember we having them coming in every 90 minutes but their flow times are, you know, in the order of 183 minutes. So my question is, you know, if I slow down the inter-arrival time, maybe to two hours, maybe just more than the 90 minutes, 100 minutes, 110, 120, can I get them to wait a little less? Because the wait for the time from time of arrival to completion of surgery now is, is really starting to escalate because I've got a, a log jam forming here. Okay. So um, we are going, this is the base case. Let us do one more run just to see what happens. To do that, we go to um, 
Just see if this is in, it's in one of these two. Uh, yeah, it's in uh, simulation main. And I just changed this seed value to sort of reinitialize. I'm going to just make it any, any number, just 88. Uh, all that does is it just initializes the randomness of this tool. So it's like showing up on a different day and observing these suites. Uh, we want multiple runs because uh, I think, you know, in practice, I think you can see that if you showed up one day and observed the behavior of these systems, you may not get a representative caseload. It could be, for example, very low BMI folks coming in by, by chance that day or very high BMI folks. And so what you need to do is observe this OR suite across multiple days. And that's what the run uh, essentially does. Multiple runs. So you're probably going to need to do three, at least three, um, and maybe more, depending on how much variability you have. I, I'm just uh, interested in you replicating some, uh, doing some replicates, not necessarily uh, going deep to, to the point where you have uh, statistical stability. All right, so let's go ahead and run all 570 now. So I click on that little gear down the bottom here, click on the ellipsis here, uh, these three vertical dots, put in uh, 570. Again, that is the nine and a half hours. Uh, nine hours would be 540 plus the 30, hit enter. And then I can just run this to completion. So um, here I got four completions, uh, 266 flow time here, while only three completed. Uh, the fourth patient is in surgery here. Fifth patient is um, in sedation here. And uh, the sixth patient is just waiting. So um, interesting. So now, now we're close to the target of six surgeries in each track that I'm, I'm looking for. So the question is, you know, what next? Is there any workaround, any um, adjustment, uh, adding staff, um, maybe pooling, looking at the variance, maybe some psychological moves that can improve our workflow with respect to those two metrics, the, um, the, the total time that the patient experiences from time of arrival to completion of surgery, and um, also the number of surgeries in each track. So uh, in the next clip, we're going to consider uh, one particular innovation for uh, utilization matters.